Hello everyone. So we have this question under vectors. Let's see how we can break it down. The question reads, show that the line, uh, this line which is in the vector form, lies in the plane, this one that we have here. So what we're going to need to do here is, we're first going to need to convert uh, the line which is in vector form, let's convert it to parametric form. So it's important to note that this vector that we have here can be represented as x, y, z, which is equals to 2, 1, 0, plus S, 5, 1, negative 1. So this vector can be represented like this. Then to convert it into parametric form, what we're going to do is we're going to get everything in the first columns, which is X, 2, and 5. So that we get X is equals to 2 plus 5, S. In the second column, we have y is equals to 1 plus s. In the third column, we have z is equals to 0 minus s. Okay. So now that we have these uh, three, these that we have here, these are in parametric form. So what we're going to do is we are going to substitute in the plane. So the plane, the equation of the plane is x minus 3 y plus 2z, so this one can cross the cosine, so that we can have plus 1, and everything is equal to 0. So we have to show that whatever we have here is equal to 0, then uh, that shows that uh, this line is found in this particular plane. So here where there's, um, where there's x, we're going to replace it with 2 plus 5s minus 3. Here where there's y, we're going to replace it with 1 plus then lastly, here with the z, same thing, we're going to replace z with negative s. Then we're adding this one that we have here, and we have to show that this is equal to, to 0. So let's prove this. So we're going to have 2 plus 5s minus 3 times 1, that is 3, 3 times s, that is negative 3 s, 2 times negative s is negative 2 s plus 1. So we have to show that this is equal to 0. From there, we're going to say, let's group like terms. We have 5 s and uh, 3 s. So that will give us 2 s. We have 2 and negative 3. So we'll get negative 1. Remember, we still have 2 s and we still have that 1 there. So 2s and negative 2s will just give us a 0, plus negative 1, positive 1, just give us a 0. So 0 is equal to 0. So this shows that the line lies in the plane. Since after substituting, what we got is a 0, then this shows that this particular line, which is in vector form, lies in this plane. So that's how it's done. Thank you very much.